Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and I wanted to talk to you today about how to get some help options in Alteryx and how to learn about Alteryx. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the icon here. I'm doing this with Alteryx Designer 2018.1, and as soon as it opens, you can see some of the options it has to help me get started. Uh, I can see my recent workflows, but I also can, there are tutorials here. Uh, simply how to input data, how to browse, how to analyze data. It really begins right here as you open it up. And I find this to be very helpful. This really has a lot of in-depth ways to help us learn about Alteryx. Oh, the, another one that always opens up is this learning guide. This is very helpful. Uh, if you did not get it in that little first window, then you can see a lot of it right here. Again, each one of these titles here leads to a, a subtitle inside this workflow. This is a wonderful place to get more information. But let's say I'm in a workflow and I want to learn about a particular tool. Uh, let's say I want to do the input feature here. If I click it, this is the first step. It tells me a little snippet of what this input data tool does. And if you click on all these other ones, there's a little snippet of what they do. Let's just say the snippet is not enough. In this particular one, they have an example. So I'll click open example and it's a whole different workflow and it goes through step by step of how to open different files. This is very, very helpful. And if you go through, you'll see lots of different uh, ways in which you can uh, use this tool. Now I'm back to my workflow. If that wasn't very helpful, I can actually come here and right click on it and I can click help. And it'll open up Alteryx help online. And it actually takes me through several steps of how to use the input data tool. And if I click the carrots next to each one of these headers, it expands and I can see more specific information about each one of them. So that's very wonderful help with the tools, but there's also even more help. Uh, there's help up here in this general search bar. So let me type in input and it comes up with the different tools. And then here's the help section that it's coming is currently searching. And then here's the Altrix community. The Altrix community is very, very helpful. I'm a member. In order to get the most out of the Alteryx community, you do want to become a member. And let's go ahead and uh, just click on one of these, Ultimate Input Data Flowchart. That right here, see how I've signed in, and you can see that there's someone here that's talked about how to input things. And, it, and this is very helpful, and there's, it connects to different ideas. And this is a wonderful place to take a look at how to get some more information about Alteryx. Now if I go back to the designer, so there's the general input, but there's also this help tab up here. And you get Alteryx help, but then down here is sample workflows. You're like, well, I want to clean and prepare my data. Oh, here's a way to normalize my data. And here's a normalizing a string field, normalizing phone numbers. How do I convert data types with auto field? Uh, that's a first step whenever you're using a comma separated variable or a CSV file. And there's a lots of different things here. Now, if I, I can even scroll down here, and here's the predictive analytics tools, plot of means, decision trees, lots of different tools here, how to how to help us through different areas. Uh, K nearest neighbors, this is a wonderful sample workflow. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool to help us. There's even a little bit more uh, information here about how to, how to use it. And you can see that was hidden. If I just clicked on it, uh, I can see more of it. These are just some of the ways in which you can find help within the Alt Alteryx uh, designer. But there's also one more that I want to show you. It's Alteryx YouTube videos. And I have some other YouTube videos out there, and there, but there's lots of them. But this is the Alteryx channel. And these really help you build your understanding of Alteryx and any other software you use, be it R, SPSS, Python. There's lots of wonderful videos that help us with uh, our understanding. So I hope you had a chance to learn about all these different ways to get help through Alteryx, uh, Alteryx.com, Alteryx community, and within the workflows how to get information from each one of the different tools. And with anything, there's a lot of learning that takes place when you mess up. I've learned the most when I am struggling to find the answer. Just realize that's part of the process and it becomes a lot easier the more you use it, just like with about anything. So thanks for listening. Have a great day.